If you want to pick up some comics about Jaime Reyes, Ted Cord, or even Booster Gold, this is a video for you. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka the Mad Dog and we're back with another video. Now to kick off this list, I'm going to make an assumption that some people are watching this video because they're either anticipating the Blue Beetle movie or maybe they've just watched it. In which case you might want to book about Jaime Reyes, in which case I'd say, why not just start at the beginning? Yeah, despite the fact that he's now leading one of the movies that may or may not be the first one in the new DCEU, which... Seems a bit of a mess already before it's even started. But Jaime Reyes doesn't have that long of a history, with him only really debuting in 2006. And sure, yeah, he did make his first appearance in Infinite Crisis, which I did enjoy when I reviewed it a few weeks ago, but I believe that would be a horrible jumping on point unless you know a lot about the DC Universe. And his origin story that's captured in that event is summed up really well in his ongoing 2006 series. As well, this went on for quite a number of issues, so if you want a longer series where Jaime's trying to figure out exactly what being Blue Beetle means, and see him go on his first few adventures and establish his rivalry with Guy Gardner and the rest of the Green Lanterns whilst at the same time finding a way to step out of the shadow of Ted Cord, then especially the first part of the series that was written by Keith Giffen would be a phenomenal jumping on point. However, yeah, we may be centering this video around Blue Beetle and that may be the catalyst for this being made, but Booster Gold is my guy. And it's normally a tradition with me where to start that I'll always recommend the first book that I ever read for that character at the beginning of the video, and when it comes to Booster, that was 52. Now let's just address the elephant in the room because for as much as I I love this series, there is a good chunk of it that Booster isn't even present. But regardless, this was still my first introduction into Michael and the reason why I love him so much. From issue 1, it's textbook Booster turned all the way up to 11, doing whatever he can to fill the void that was left by Superman and still manipulating his image in a way that makes him most marketable to sponsors. Which kind of just feels like having a YouTube channel these days. You get to see him interact with other characters within the DC Universe and step into the role of being a true hero again after he lost his way a bit in the fallout of Infinite Crisis. At the same time you get a plethora of other great stories following different characters that often get overlooked in the DC Universe, such as Steel, Renee Montoya, Black Adam and countless others. And also there's a backup feature in nearly every single issue and one of them is just a two page origin story for Booster Gold so if you want something really short why not just jump into that. However maybe you're a complete newbie to both Booster Gold and Blue Beetle in which case I'd recommend checking out this video but the book that really brought them to the forefront of DC Comics was Justice League International and this was really where they established their friendship and went on the first few adventures together so you get to see them build that connection with each other that continues for years. And if you specifically go for the issues that are written by Keith Giffen and JMD Matias, then you're gonna have a good time, but admittedly, I haven't read the end of this run, so I can't really comment on if it remains consistent into those later years, but there's definitely a significant amount of time where this was just a great book. So if you were looking for a series that's got both of these in, in a title that pretty much has a complete story in every single issue, while still developing their characters and helping them find their place in the DC universe before everything went chaotic again, then I'd definitely recommend giving this a go. And it's also easy to do now that we've got the omnibuses, which are a little bit cheaper if you use a discount code that we've got with the channel sponsor Organic Price Books. They've got great packaging, fast shipping and amazing customer services and if you use code woof woof you'll get two dollars off your order. And if you're ordering three or more books and you want them to be delivered together make sure you use code woof woof ship it together for five percent off your entire order. Don't worry you can just copy and paste them from the description down below and you can use these codes as many times as you like. However if you know you like that 80s era of comics but you don't really want to jump into a team book then I would definitely recommend picking up the 1986 series of Booster Gold. And the reason why I'm recommending this is because it's the debut of Booster Gold so what better place could there be to start? And yeah when I do a where to start I normally argue against going back to the very beginning because characters evolve and develop and it might not be the same person that you know today but that's not really the case with Booster Gold because it's still written by Dan Jurgens. Dan Jurgens is to Booster Gold what Mad Dog Comics is to really mediocre YouTube videos. Dan Jurgens has been there for a lot of the later series of Booster Gold or the other team books that he's worked in and there's pretty much very few people that know more about Booster than him. But it's great because you can read about Michael during this figuring out phase whilst they're trying to develop the character and see where he really fits. You do get to see him save the president and then break out into the mainstream but then for it all to just come crashing back down again. And it's all set within the post-crisis DC universe. So if you have already read those 80s Justice League titles and you're looking for something individual for Booster or maybe you just want something for the character in general, this would definitely be my recommendation. In saying that, if you could only read one Booster Gold book, I'd fully recommend the 2007 series that took place after 52. And you get a plethora of big names working on this, so Jeff Johns is there at the beginning for a few issues, then Dan Jurgens took over it on his own and went back to the character that he created, Keith Giffen and DMT has come back towards the end, and if you're a fan of the post-Infinite Crisis DC universe, all the way up to the new 52, which despite not being great for Booster Gold, 
is my jam. Then this series would be great because it went on for a number of years. I think it nearly had about 50 issues. And if I'm remembering correctly, there was quite a lot of Jaime Reyes backup stories in a lot of these issues. Admittedly though, collected editions of this are quite difficult to get if you wanted a complete run, which is disappointing considering that this was the last long Booster Gold series that we really got. But you can still check out the full thing if you've got DC Universe Infinite. And they are planning to reprint the first volume, which hopefully will mean that they'll reprint the rest. And if you're in the EU and you want to pick that up or any other book, and you want free shipping and free gifts with every order, then the only place that you need to go is Comics Bugle. And if you didn't think it could get any better than that, if you use code WOOF WOOF, you'll get 3% off all items that aren't already in a sale. Yet in saying that, why not give the new 52 Blue Beetle series a try? This was an era where they were trying to get new readers into different titles, so it would be a great jumping on point. It's written by Tony Bedard and only went on for 16 issues because DC was really trigger happy at cancelling series during this time. And yeah, there are some changes to Jaime's origins, but I think it's done so in a way that would benefit a new reader, and despite it not being as long as his 2006 series, there's still some really enjoyable stories here. You get to see him visit the wrong Justice League, and also take part in some kind of bounty hunter game, and although I don't think it's going to completely blow your mind, it's still fun. And there is still enough here if you wanted to get familiar with a character without needing to know about all the stuff that happened during Infinite Crisis. So I don't think this recommendation is going to be for everybody, but I still think it's worth putting on this list. At the same time, if you did want a longer, more modern Jaime Ray has run, but you're one of those people that boycotts the New 52 and you take absolutely every opportunity to tell everyone, then you're kind of in luck because you might as well go for the 2016 Rebirth series. Again, it's Keith Giffen that's writing it, it's like he is to Blue Beetle what Dan Jurgens is to Booster Gold, but I think this also went on for about 18 or so issues and if you wanted something that incorporates a bit more of the Blue Beetle mythos beyond just Jaime, and you wanted there to be a bit more of a connection to Ted, then I'd definitely recommend checking this out. I have only read the first arc of this, I did keep meaning to pick it back up but there's just so many books that are coming out all the time. But from the first arc alone, I like that it's got that balance between having extraterrestrial level threats and also a lot of street level threats for Jaime to deal with. And yeah, it did fall a bit under the radar amongst all the other Rebirth titles that were coming out, but at the same time, it might be a great jumping on point for you. Next up, I'm going with Justice League Generation Lost. This might actually be more one of those hidden gems because it was coming out around the 2010 era, but just before Flashpoint. And this was the last team book that Booster was in before the New 52 happened, and despite Despite there being other characters like Blue Beetle, Captain Atom, and a few others, the first arc of this really felt like it was a personal story for Michael. It sees him and the rest of the team hunting down a resurrected Maxwell Lord, and given his history with Ted, Booster takes his mission personally, and although he is often this larger than life personality, seeing him go after Maxwell just added this different layer to it. And despite only running for about a year, there were still 24 issues that they managed to publish. So if you do want a story with these characters, and you're familiar with the brightest day era of DC, then this would definitely be the one for you. After that, I'm going with Justice League International. And no, this isn't me running out of ideas and putting the same book in twice, because I'm talking about the book from the New 52. Dan Jurgens was once again on the writing duties, which at this point should come as a surprise to no one, but if you want to see Booster in more of a leader role in a series that didn't go on for too long, but at the same time you want it to be long enough that you can sort of get your teeth stuck into it, which you know sounds contradictory to what I literally just said, then I'd recommend giving this title a try. There's a roster of other great characters as well, like Guy Gardner, Batwing, Omak, who was in one of the most underrated New 52 series, and you also get quite a lot of Batman in this, and not in the way that other New 52 books would have done, where they put a big character on the cover of the first issue and then they just never appear again. He actually is a decent part of this team without ever taking over the entire story. So if you wanted a more modern team book then why not give this title a go that came out 12 years ago. Wait, has it really been that long? Bit of a curveball, but I'm going to put in Booster Gold meets the Flintstones. This was a one-shot issue that's been collected as part of the Mark Russell hardcover, which I reviewed a few months ago and I really enjoyed. But this issue is completely out of left field and it's as wacky as you'd expect it to be. It's pretty much on the same level as something like Punisher meets Archie, because obviously Booster Gold being a character that can travel through time, he goes back to the prehistoric age and it's just really weird. It is more of a comedy story than it is going to be an action-adventure, so if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, then I definitely recommend this one. And you know, you might be somebody that was a massive fan of the Flintstones when you were growing up, and now you really want to read Booster Gold, then why not read something that's got a character set that you're going to be familiar with? But jumping back over to Jaime Reyes, I'm going to recommend the recently released Blue Beetle Graduation Day, because you might want a shorter book that's centered around a more coming of age teenager type story. And this was only released this year, so it is very recent. And you might feel like a lot of the other books that I've recommended for Jaime are more centered about the beginning of his journey, 
well then this would be the perfect book for you because he is more established as Blue Beetle but at the same time he's trying to figure out how that fits in with his life. And admittedly I've only read the first couple of issues of Graduation Day in preparation for this video because I was waiting for the newer issues to come on DC Universe Infinite so I don't know if it's going to take a massive dip at the end but it's got a lot of fun energy, it feels like it's taking the character seriously and it's following Jaime at a really pivotal time in his life. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to be the backbone for the new ongoing series that he's got coming out in September, mostly because it's the same creative team that worked on Graduation Day. So if that ongoing series goes on for years, this might be a fantastic opportunity to get in on the ground floor. Now, some honourable mentions that I do have to include, but I also have to put an asterisk because I haven't read either of these titles. But when I said that I was doing a where to start on Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, I got recommended that I put in Blue Beetle's 1986 series. And I looked into this and it does look like it's following in a similar vein to the 1986 Booster Gold series. But obviously it's following Ted Cord, who I feel like I've done a bit of a disservice to in this video because I've only really recommended him in team books. But if you did want something standalone for him, then it looks like that would be the go-to. And also I got told that I need to make sure that I put on formerly known as the Justice League. But it only went on for six issues. Again, it was written by Keith Giffin and JMD Matias, and it just looks like it's got a more lighter tone. So if you wanted a quick team book for these characters, then that seems to be the one that people think you should go to. I wasn't happy with the audio on the last pick, so I just thought I'd do it as a voiceover. But closing out this video, I have to recommend Blue and Gold. Now, this ticks so many of the boxes that I've been talking about earlier on in this video. It follows both Booster Gold and Ted Cord, and it's also been quite recently released, and it only started in 2021. As well, it's only eight issues, so it's not too long, but it's also not going to take up too much of your time. And it's just a really fun adventure between the two of them, and really establishes why their friendship's so special. Admittedly, the first issue can be a bit annoying with all the comments that are going on during the live stream, but get past that, and you'll be treated to a really fun story that I do hope pays off and becomes an ongoing series. And yeah, it should come as no surprise at this point on in the video, but say it with me, it's, it's written, written by, by Dan, Dan Jurgens. And when I do these where to starts, I just want to try and make sure that I recommend books that are enjoyable. It doesn't always have to be something that's going to give you every single detail about either of these characters. And this does throw you into the middle of it. They are already established. They have already been friends. And Jaime Reyes even appears in a couple of the issues, so it feels like whatever you're looking for, this series has you covered. But I do always end me where to starts by saying that the best book for you might not even be on this list. And I haven't read every single book that these guys have featured in. I haven't even read some of the books that are on this list. This list is just my personal recommendations, but in no way is it complete. So in the comment section below, let me know what you think the perfect book is for anybody that's looking to get invested in Blue Beetle or Booster Gold. But I'm losing my voice, so until next time, just make sure that you stay safe and stay mad, all you dogs. Woof woof. See you at the next video.